shoot uh, interview of that guy who, and there was just such a different energy around me when I listened to it. And it was about um, the guy who he's passed all these tests of uh, qualities that say that he is Christ. And in the Church of England, it says whenever Christ returns, uh, he has the right to the throne of England. And this is recognized throughout history in all these books and articles and whatever. And so he, all these things happen to him in strange ways. And he says, well, if this is true, prove it. And the, uh, the voice basically says, watch for the signs. So as he goes about life, he starts really paying attention to things like in movies or on the news or and all these signs are popping up to him. Like he's interpreting what he's seeing. Like, oh my God, this is so clear. This is the answer. They're saying right here that Gregory Hallett, you are the king of England, <laughs> like pretty much in his interpretation of the signs. So the interviewer says, well, how does all of this play out? And he says, it is playing out. We'll just see, right? And so, it, it just had me in such a curious, different way of um, thought compared to where things have been with this whole pandemic and isolation and mask wearing and fear mongering and oh, who's right and who's wrong vaccinations and all of that stuff. So it took me out of one complete energy and put me in a different one where I was like, oh, this feels so good. And it's like so curious and it's exciting. And like how it just happened so quickly. And uh, that also was a common theme with something else that I had uh, listened to the night before. And all of a sudden, like uh, just where my mind went to, which is asking questions of the universe, of your soul, of your spirit guides, whatever, however you want to put it. And if you have the right question, it's like the answers will come however it is that you need to receive your answers. Like Joe would say to me, because I'm like, what do I do about my debt? Like, I cannot see working a job to pay this off. Like, this isn't, the math doesn't work. <laughs> like, this is going to be impossible type thing. And he says, well, they know. Why don't you ask them? And it's like, how often do we ask them or it or whatever to teach me how to shift out of like one energy into another energy? Uh or um, to, to sort of lean on that universal guidance a little bit more often and asking some big questions. And I took one into my um, drift. So like having a nap in the afternoon and just like as I'm laying down, I ask the question, um, it's like, who am I? And then I start playing movies in my head as I'm falling asleep and then I, catch the movie and I say who am I and then I replay the movie in my head I'm like are you saying I'm a farmer <laughs> like what was you know whatever the movie was playing in my head so I question it um and then I just say who am I and I keep falling asleep with that one question as an example of the question of who am I uh, uh if you take that kind of question on a regular basis but then also um letting it go at some point just pay attention to the signs that you're receiving. Just like this guy, he has been given this insight possibilities, all these weird things start happening to him. And then uh, um, it happens more often. So he asks and they said, just pay attention to the signs, we'll show you. And they'll do that for all of us. They, I don't know who they is or what it is. It's an energy that uh, we can't seem to see um, but we can sense it in different ways. Some people can see it on occasion too, right? So that was where I was going with it. And it can shift you out of heavy energies too. It's like, how do I do this? How do I shift my energy out of the fear into a more um, future um, sort of inspirational energy? You know, what will inspire me to get up tomorrow? <laughs> This is like, how do they see my future? We've talked about this a couple of weeks. 
um, show me my future. So that way, if you glimpse your future more often, you do that, then you, you kind of start getting a more idea about where you're heading and how to get there. Like what shifts you need to go through today or tomorrow to get to where you glimpse you're going to be. Yeah. So then there's one where it's like, I had this uh, vision that came out of nowhere and I caught it. My first vision I would say I'd caught, which was, I was just driving down the highway to on my way to work. And all of a sudden I saw myself coming uh, up a, a wooden porch of a, like a log cabin and with a suitcase. And I'm just like, what the hell was that? And all of a sudden I just caught it. I'm like, where did that come from? I, I wasn't thinking anything that would have inspired this to go through my head. And I recognized that I had a vision of my future. And so I can now say, if this was truly a vision, and if it is true, then prove it to me. Joe will often say, get them to prove it. If it's true, prove it. Hey, I'm okay if they make this happen. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living in a log cabin at this time, you know? But uh, there's, yeah, simple questions you can ask and um, get inspired and watch crazy videos to inspire you sometimes needs to happen. <laughs> uh, I think this guy is, uh, the website is king of dot uk 